The fun thing with Facebook though, is there's like a really cool sweet spot between about 500 and a thousand members. And that's when Facebook starts sending their own traffic to you and suggesting your group out. This is the only way to really, really speed up the growth and make it exponential. So you got to hustle for that first 500 or so. And once you hit that, Facebook will start flooding in numbers from all of the other places that come from there. This is The Fighting Entrepreneur, the podcast dedicated to entrepreneurs looking to change the world. Learn how to start, build, and scale a business in today's highly competitive business environment. Here's your host, The Fighting Entrepreneur, Anik Singhal. What's up, you crazy fighting entrepreneurs? Guess who it is? Your favorite person in the whole wide world, Mr. Onyx Singhal. I'm back with another episode, and today we're going to talk about... How to make $25,000 a month or even more using Facebook groups. I'm talking about absolute free traffic. I'm talking about letting Facebook make money for you. And you know what? You're leaning into what Facebook wants. So it's like how to give Facebook what they want and make tons of money for free doing it. Our guest today, Arne Giske, is literally the guy. All right, he is the person in the entire world that is a master of this. And he was doing Facebook groups and talking about Facebook groups since way before Facebook groups became a big thing. And um, I'm just telling you right now, if you've been looking to build a business organically, um, if you've been looking to build a business without having to invest a ton of money in that can make a ton of money back, this is it. This is what you need to be in. Now, if you're listening to this on iTunes, you need to go to onicpodcast.com and look at the description or even look at the description in iTunes itself. If you're watching on YouTube, Boom, there's a URL. I'm actually so impressed and love this so much. We're publishing Arnie over at Learn Nation now, and we're going to do a killer, killer masterclass style webinar together. Just go to the URL, get yourself a seat, save your seat and attend it. I promise you, you are going to love it. You need to be engaged with what's going on because if you're not, others are, and you're going to miss out. All right. So with that said, and also make sure you're signed up at learn.com. Come on. Join the movement. Join the revolution of entrepreneurs. L-U-R-N.com. Go make it happen. All right. Without further ado, Mr. Arnie, man, it has been a long journey of us getting this publishing deal together for you being on the platform. But I don't know if you even know what encouraged me to chase you down. Um, there is a moment and I want to tell you about it. And then I really want to bring you on. And um, I was watching the Super Bowl this year. Um uh, you know, we all watch Super Bowl. My team never makes it. So I'm just watching it for the ads mostly. And um, I'm watching the ads and eh, some are good, some are bad, but one caught my attention and my jaw dropped. And I thought, oh my God, it was like being in a secret room with Facebook with Mark Zuckerberg and him telling me exactly where they're going and what they're doing in the secret of Facebook. It was an ad from Facebook all about Facebook groups. And I've never seen Facebook ever run an ad. And they ran the most expensive ad you can, a, a Super Bowl ad. So in my head, I thought, that's it. They're telling me something. They're saying that we believe so much in this that we're going to pour millions upon millions in advertising. And I thought, I got to get in front of it. And that was actually when I went to Facebook and said, who do I know that's a Facebook group expert? And it was like back to back. My audience was like, Arnie, 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 Arnie. I was like, OK. And then I looked at what you have. Not only do you have software that automates it, but your case studies, man, the number of testimonials you have and the number of people that have turned, you know, Facebook groups through your training and education into money and into revenue and into a business is just overwhelming. So thanks for doing this, man. You really do have credibility in this beyond anyone else I know. Um, and welcome to the show and welcome to learn as a published expert. Um, I want to dive right in if you're cool with it, Arnie, and let's let's dive into it. But we got to do the oath first. So if you don't mind raising your right hand and repeating after me. I, sure. Arnie. I, Arnie. You solemnly swear. You solemnly swear. Tell the truth and nothing but the truth. Tell the truth and nothing but the truth. And reveal some killer Facebook group secrets. Reveal all the killer Facebook group secrets. I love it. All right. Awesome. So, um, so man, when did you start doing Facebook groups? Like, how long have you been doing it? Yeah, so uh, a little over four years now, probably coming up on five. Um, I got introduced to this in a really cool way. So I was reading this article on entrepreneur.com that was all about community building for business. And I was like, wow, this is, this is it. This is exactly what I've, I've been thinking about. Didn't even mention Facebook groups, but I emailed the, the author 
And I just said, Hey, I really love your article. You know, very cool. And he said, thanks, man. Uh, we actually just started a community for entrepreneurs on Facebook. Come, come by, come join this group and check it out. And at the time I didn't have a network of, of that many entrepreneurs. So I was like, so excited to get around more people that were, that were really doing it. And I joined this group and I saw it go from a hundred to a thousand to 5,000 to 15,000. And as it grew, all of these people were networking, growing together and working with the group leaders. And I saw his business growing as a result of it. So I thought, this is incredible. How can I get a piece of this pie? Like I got to start some of my own groups. And following that, uh, I did. I started a handful. The first four absolutely flopped in many different ways and many different reasons. But the fifth one, I really figured out how to do it differently. And that's the one that's now over 80,000 members and has brought in seven figures in revenue. So it's been a crazy ride to, you know, have these tiny little groups that are wasting my time to this massive community that is seriously adding to my business and creating a pretty big impact while we're at it. It's been such a ride. No, that's awesome. And, and you know what, I, I want to talk, I want to get right to it. Usually we do these episodes a little bit differently, but today I'm really intrigued because you mentioned 80,000 person group and there might be people listening that are thinking, gosh, 80,000, I can't get to 80,000. He must've hit, you know, he must've hit a lucky stride or whatever. But when we were talking about this show yeah. beforehand, you mentioned, you're like, Hey, I got this one student who's making over 25 grand a month with a tiny Facebook group. I mean, you know, it's not big. And so do you mind just dive into that, yeah. to, into that case study a little bit? And from that, I'll pick out questions so that our audience can understand it better. But I want everyone who's listening right now, you need to listen to this because I'm telling you, every single one of you can do this to the T. You could copy and paste it. You have no excuses now to not be killing it and, and earning an income. But, uh, but yeah, Arnie, so go through the 25,000. And then I know you got another one too. We're gonna go over one. Uh, just so everyone knows, we're going to go over another one with one of his uh, students making over ten thousand dollars a month using just affiliate marketing and Facebook groups, which is which is even more fun. But yeah, let's talk about the first one, the twenty five k one. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, his name is Jake, and I, I love his story. So um, he was uh, traveling all over for for his work. He was doing you know out four to six trips per month, and you know he had his wife at home that wasn't so happy about it. And when uh, they had a child, he realized I really, really need to be there for my family. I can't be gone this much. And, and this is not the lifestyle I want to live. I want to be present for, for my daughter as she's there. Um, so he jumped in to make the switch and say, okay, all of these skills that I've learned in my previous thing, I can take these and I can package them up and I can coach other people how to do this. And so he, he, dove in and started out building a coaching business, started out building his group. And within the first you know month or so, he was like almost a thousand members and he was making 5k a month just to start. And then as the member count scaled up, so did his income. He earned the authority. He learned the strategies. He ended up even hosting his own uh, events and quickly getting up to over 20k a month within, I would say the first, you know, three to six months. And that's a massive leap from going from, you know, a few grand a month in, in what he used to do to now really, really stepping up and having this highly profitable coaching business. So I, I love this story because it's, it's so rooted in what a lot of us have, which is I am at this place in my life. I do this to make my money. I, you know, have to make these sacrifices. How can I change the model of how I have been operating to this new opportunity that's going to give me more of that freedom that I want? So like his, his dedication, his follow through and just how much he cared about his, his group was the, the main differentiator. So, uh, yeah, I loved his story. So talk to me, uh, let's put this in perspective of people listening right now. Um, and let's just start. So number one, someone's got to pick a topic. What are some of the top types of groups, topics that you can have a group about, or, I mean, is it anything and everything? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Anything and everything. Like I, I remember somebody asked me that before and we were uh, on, on an interview in one of their groups. And I said, all right, throw me some keywords in the comments. And people said like socks, cement mixers, this, and we found like cement mixer buy and sell groups or like sock enthusiasts. Like there's literally any kind of group you could imagine. They're 
there is probably a woman with tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people. What I'm finding right now is some of the, the, the hottest groups are either hardcore hobby groups, you know, it could be like dirt bikes or, um, you know, just things people really care about that are the most engaged naturally and also everything in the, uh, in the business space. So if you're helping people start a business, make more money, get more sales, anything like that, that's where people are going to be really, really hanging out because they want to soak it up. They want to learn it. And uh, of course, those are great customers because you're helping them directly make money. Got it. And, and here's the other thing. So in your last case study you talked about where the gentleman was making 25000 you talked about him doing events and coaching. And, and so a lot of students are listening, I don't want to do events. I don't want to do coaching. But you have another story of a student who just uses Facebook groups to generate affiliate income. So I want everyone to understand. We'll break that one down a little, a little bit as well. But, you know, there's lots of ways to monetize this and you don't have you don't have to have your own offers. You don't have to do anything. You can literally just use affiliate marketing. All right. So let's say I've chosen a topic. I'm, I'm going to skip past the process of going to Facebook and creating the group. I mean, you know, that's not that hard. But tell me this. So here I am, Arnie. I'm, 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 I'm starting a new group. I come to you and I say, how do, how do I get my first hundred members? Mm hmm. Yeah. So the, the most important thing to, to do to start your growth and kickstart it is what I call the group growth spider web. So anywhere you might have some online presence online, everything from your personal profile on Facebook to a website or an email list, that's all real estate. That's all places that you get some traffic. So as long as you're routing that traffic back to the group, then people are in your spider web. So the more active you are in those other places, the more they come across you. So the, the fun thing with Facebook though, is there's like a really cool sweet spot between about 500 and a thousand members. And that's when Facebook starts sending their own traffic to you and suggesting your group out. This is the only way to really, really speed up the growth and make it exponential. So you got to hustle for that first 500 or so. And once you hit that, Facebook will start flooding in numbers from uh, all of the other places that come from there. And that I really want everyone to listen to that. That's the part. And I, I have a Facebook group. If those of you are wondering, has Anik followed Arnie's advice? I absolutely have. My Facebook group now has 24,000 members. Um, just go to just go to Facebook, type in Silent Seller. You see my book, Silent Seller. Type that in and you'll see. And um, every day, every day, I don't do anything to actively market it right now. Not a thing. I don't touch it. And every single day, 40, 50, 60 new members per day, like clockwork, are coming in. And um, and that's not because it's 24,000. That started way before when I was just starting the group. Yeah. Facebook started sending traffic and people to me for free. And you know what's, what's amazing? I want everyone to understand this about this traffic is this is not just normal traffic. It's not just someone clicking a link and going to a website. This is someone that sees the name of your group, clicks on it, then goes and applies, answers questions. I mean, talk about a qualified person who is hungry. They want, they like that topic enough. They want to be involved in it. So that's, that's awesome. So basically you're saying, look, you know, 500. Now, if you're wondering how to get to the first 500 and all, well, we're going to cover some of these topics. Um, we're going to talk about how to build Facebook groups, how to grow Facebook groups. Again, on our free webinar training, the masterclass, and the URL is on the screen or it's in the description in iTunes or in our onicpodcast.com show description. Go go get yourself a seat and we're going to go over all of this. But all right, so we got our group up and running. Um, how do we, what's, how, what kind of posts? Like, do you post regularly every day? What do you do to get that group? Like, how do you transition it from being a group of people hanging out to yeah. monetizing? Like, that's the part where I get stuck. How do I make money from that group? Absolutely. Yeah, great question. So um, the, the most important thing is to understand how the group fits in with the rest of your marketing ecosystem. We don't want to just have a group and, you know, post our sales pages, post all these ads in the group. And nobody's going to want to hang out in that group. We've all seen those, you know, big spammy ones and that's not ideal. So what we have to do is figure out how to get them in the group and then use the group for the branding, for the lead generation, for the community aspects and really build a place that they want to hang out in every single day and discuss their, their topics, show them what this community is all about and make them want to just hang out there. And when you do that, then you position yourself as the expert, not the spammy person. You position yourself as the community leader, not just the salesperson. And it, it creates this rapport that is amplifying everything else that happens in the rest of your sales process. 
So if, you know, if somebody hangs out in a Facebook group for a month and then sees an ad of mine for my book or something, they're going to be like, oh, cool. Artie's got a book. I'm going to go pick it up. But if they never were part of the group and they just see an ad for another random book, they're going to keep scrolling a lot of times. So having that place to really warm up the audience makes everything so much smoother. Like I remember as it was funny, I did a, uh, a product launch one time and we made 57 grand with $950 in ads. And I remember sharing that case study somewhere and you know how there's always that one guy that's going to, you know, say something negative. Well, he's going to say, he said, um, Oh, well, that's cause you got this big warm audience. Uh, and I was like, yeah, isn't it awesome? Like, don't you want to build a warm audience? And, and just, just kind of remind them, like, that's what it's all about. We want to have that opportunity to be able to do things like that. And of course, if you're going to spend $950 in, in ads, you're not going to expect 50 grand out, but how cool is it to be able to do that with your group and just spend some money on retargeting or something like that? So yeah. it's, it's, it's incredible what can happen with uh, an engaged community. So the, the particular case study of the individual who makes 25000 or more a month, did he spend any money to build that group? How big was the group again? You said seven, eight, eight thousand. 8000 Yeah, he's over 7000 now, probably okay. 8 or 9. Okay. And so did he spend any money or has that been completely organic? Completely organic. Wow. So this is, I mean, you know, we get this all the time from students at Learn. They'll be like, hey, come on, I, I, want, I want to be able to build, build a business without having to spend money on ads and not. And it's like... All right, no excuses anymore. <laughs> Here we go. Get a Facebook group started. Follow simple methodologies. Um, Arnie, do you, or even this individual who does it 25 grand a month, like, do does he post every day, every other day? Does he, you know, does he promote yeah. to them every day? Like, what's kind of a balance of the content versus promotional schedule? Yeah, so I can't say for him. I haven't checked on his group in a little while, but for me, I definitely like to post daily. And the, the trick is making that not overwhelming for yourself. So I like to do what I call the everyday content method, where let's say if I come across a um, you know, cool article or something happens in my industry, or you know, I'm working with a client on something and I just latch onto an idea. The whole strategy behind the everyday content method is to latch onto ideas that are floating around, put them through your head and pop out a very quick and simple post that your audience is going to engage with. So uh, like, you know, after this interview, I might go over to my group and just say, I'm super excited. I just had this, this great interview. You know, one thing we talked about was, uh, you know, Jake's story of how he did X, Y, and Z. You know, here's some of the things Jake did differently than most people to make sure that he hit that success. You know, hope you guys found this valuable. And that would take me, you know, a minute or two to write that post because we don't want to just sit there and spend an hour a day writing posts, we got stuff to do. I want you guys to figure out how to be efficient with it, grab ideas quickly, and then quickly get them into the group. And that's what makes the post volume go up, the engagement go up, the lead generation go up, and of course, making the sales go up. So it's really building a habit out of it. Got it. Yeah, I like that. And, and it doesn't. I mean, you can post polls sometimes, you can post, you, know, you can get you know, kind of creative with your posts. And so how often do you make an offer? Like, is it once yeah, a week, so once a day, once a month? Like, how often do you try to monetize that audience? Yeah, um, I, I don't do a ton of offers directly in the group. What I do uh, way more frequently is lead generation style posts. So I might say something like, you know, I'm super excited to be, you know, launching this, uh, you know, new mastermind group. We're going to be doing X, Y, and Z. And if you guys are curious about it, just, you know, drop a comment. Let me know. We can, we can chat about it further. So we call these comment ladders. So if, if I put out a post like that, every time somebody comments, it gets bumped up higher in the newsfeed algorithm and then more people see it and then more people comment and then more people see it and more people comment. So like anytime I throw out like a you know, free lead magnet or even a, a low ticket product, um, there's dozens if not hundreds of comments on there, people wanting to grab it. So that's how we're able to quickly generate leads from the group or something and then use the rest of our follow-up systems, whether it's Messenger or sales funnels or a webinar or something to get people to actually buy. Because a Facebook group is not a buying and selling environment, it's a conversational environment. So if the conversation is, hey, we have this cool thing, if you wanna learn more, you wanna check it out, come this way, and then get them into more of a sales channel. Like people don't wanna be sold on a Facebook group, but if they're you know, on a webinar, if they are 
on a sales call, they're expecting that there's going to be an offer at an exchange. So um, put the right messages and the right offers in the right place. And that will make everything flow smoothly and not feel like a, you know, a big spammy group. Wow. Uh, that was pretty creative. I like that. Just use it for getting leads. Um, one thing also I want to talk to you about, which I want to bring to everyone's attention because no one's probably thinking about this. You were the first person. I remember when I saw you doing this, I go, oh my God, that's, that's pretty genius. You use Facebook groups to build your email list. And so what I always been teaching now for 17 years to people is build an email list and their money is in the list, right? So let's say you're getting uh, 50 leads a day. We're not breaking any, we're not breaking any banks yet. It's 50 leads a day, but you're putting 50 people into your autoresponder per day or yearly. And what I've always taught and what I've seen in my business is for every lead I put in, I get about a dollar a month out of it. Now in my company now, I'm actually sitting closer to two to two and a half dollars. But I get it, right? I've been doing this for a lot longer. I have my own products, et cetera, et cetera. But for most of our affiliates and most of our students, it's about a buck a month per list. So think about it this way. If you put 50 people into your email list in a day, you've added $50 a month of income to your passive income. So that's $600 a year. So every day, Facebook inserts $600 into your pocket for the year. I mean, you start to think like that, even, even Arnie's, even, even you smiling, right? Because it's like, you start to think like that, you're like, wow. And, and that's what got me going. And that's what should get you going is that Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg's coming over every day and paying you 600 bucks just to have a group on there and to know what you're doing with the group. And, um, and the way that works out, if anyone missed the math is again, there's a way, and Arnie will talk about it now, where everyone who joins your group, you can capture their email address and pull it out of Facebook and put it in an email list. So now you can email them as well and now you've got, and, and that is a much higher quality list. That email list, rather than an opt-in list, I mean, these are people that literally applied to be a part of your group. And, yeah, and hang out with you and spend time yeah. and they're, they're opening the emails, all that. So, I got yeah. another, another fun uh, uh, case study on that. So this was uh, uh, just over two years ago. Um, I was at this event in Barcelona and it was such a really cool, it was like a, a very small, like workshoppy style event. And a lot of the other people were speaking and all the speakers were listening to each other since we all had our own zones. So I did my talk on Facebook groups. I did my talk on, you know, how to grow your list, how to monetize it. And, um, you know, all these other awesome uh, people were just jumping in ready to rock. One guy, he said, you know, I always brushed off Facebook groups, but I never understood how this actually could add to my business like this. This is incredible. I'm going to start my group right now. And he started his group that day. And uh, two years later, um, he, he posted up a while back and he said, uh, I'm super pumped. I'm now crossed 50,000 members um, and 35,000 of them gave email addresses. So we did the math on that real quick. And, you know, some people, if they're paying, you know, up to $5 a lead on, on paid ads or something like that, that saved him. $175,000 on paid advertising just by growing that group and, and growing that list while he was growing the group. It was just an incredible number to see. So it's not just what you can get out of that list that you're earning, but having to not spend that money on ads is incredible. It's, it's, that's why it's my favorite social platform right now. Yeah. I, and mine too, by the way, between YouTube and Facebook groups, it's like, they're the two places to build an audience right now. Um, and the fact that you can, what I love about Facebook groups, it puts it kind of over the edge of YouTube a little bit is because you could pull the email list out. So a lot of people probably are not understanding that they're like, wait, I don't get it. How do I get the email address out of Facebook and have that? Um, and you won't get everybody just so everyone knows, even, even you heard Arnie say like he had 50,000 members, he got 35,000 of them. You won't get everybody, but man, I'll take the 35,000 out of 50 all day long. Cause it's quality. Absolutely. Arnie, ex explain that. How, how do, how do you help your students pull email lists, email leads out of Facebook? Yeah. Yeah. So, so the most important thing to look at first is this is not something sneaky or black hat or bad. It's, in the welcome questions, you have the opportunity to ask them, you know, hey, what do you want to get the most out of this group? Hey, what's your biggest challenge around this topic? And uh, hey, do you want a free guide on how to X, Y, and Z? Leave your email. And it's even GDPR friendly. I was, I was pumped to see that happen too. But when they leave those questions, um, 
you get to pick up those emails. And there's a, a, an easy way and a hard way to do it, of course. Um, we were copy and pasting all of these emails, you know, having a VA do all this stuff. And it was just a massive pain. So I even stopped doing that at one point. I was just losing hundreds and hundreds of emails every single day. Because once you approve the people, it doesn't save the answers. So we ended up creating a software called Group Funnels, and uh, there's should be a link around as well for that one. I think you guys have an affiliate link there. Uh, that as soon as you press approve, it picks up all of their names, questions, and answers, and you can even attach that straight to your email list. So within a few minutes of somebody being approved into your group, they get a welcome email. They can go into a sequence, and you immediately. Even if that person never looked at your group again, even if they left your group a day later, you just got a new subscriber or dozens or hundreds or 35,000 like that one guy. So it's, it's just such an incredible tool to add to your ecosystem. And what I mean ecosystem is there's traffic, there's leads, there's funnels, all that. So we want to make sure it all works together for you. Yeah. So... So here's here's the simplicity of this, everyone. And obviously, there's intricacies that we're going to go over on the workshop that we want you to be there and that working with Arnie can get you. So you pick a topic, you create a group, and then you use Arnie's methodologies to help you get to the first 500 members. That's the golden number. Got to get to 500 members. You post daily, and Arnie will show you multiple templates and multiple types of posts so that make it very easy for you. Now, as people are joining your group, there is a way for you to pull using his software pull those members out of just Facebook and have them into your email list as well. So here's a little technique that I've used. I learned from Arnie. Um, when I go live in my Facebook group sometimes, I have a I have a side list now of like 16,000. So out of the 24,000, I think I got 16, 16 and a half thousand of them. I got their email addresses. So before I'm ready to go live in the group, I mail those leads a few times. So versus getting 50 people watching me live, I'll get 300 because of the fact that I was able to use an external messaging platform to push people back on a Facebook, which guess what? Facebook looks at my group and says, dang, these people are active. People are logging in. People like his yeah. group there. And so they push my algorithm up even better. So we didn't even talk about the fact that when you're pulling the email list out and then using it to support your group, you're actually giving Facebook more of what they want and they give you more of what they want. And so, so far, that's it. Get your group up. Make sure you use his methodologies to post regularly. Get to 500 members. Pull. Make sure you're pulling those email leads out. And then there's the monetization side. So we want to keep it simple. And this is what we're going to go over on the webinar as well. So again, the URL is below or go to the description of the audio show um, and you'll see the, in the notes, you'll see our link there. Uh, hey, let's talk about the... Um, so I've seen a lot of people use Facebook groups at this point. You know, they'll get appointments booked for, you know, high ticket selling, coaching sales, events. And that all sounds awesome and I've done it and it's tons of money and it's great, but there's people out there that don't want to do that. You mentioned, you're like, hey, I got a story of a, of a guy who's doing 10 grand plus a month and he's just doing affiliate stuff. Can you talk a little bit about that story? Yeah, so that's a really cool one. Um, so this was maybe even two years ago, three years ago. And what he wanted to do was create more passive recurring income. So, of course, it's a strategy. It's something you got to stick to and, and work with. But once you earn it, you keep getting it. And so he joined an affiliate program where he could promote this software and make recurring commissions. And he thought, okay, how do we get as many people as possible to use my affiliate link and stay on? So he created this group around digital marketing that went from, uh, you know, he was stuck at like 500 members for months. And then I started working with them and he figured out how to be consistent, how to engage the group and continue growing it. And it shot up to 10,000 within a year or so. And during that time, he thought, okay, what's the best possible experience I can give to these people who are going to be using the software? What do they really want out of it? So he was able to kind of enhance that other product by, you know, giving them some other tools and training and things like that around it. So he didn't have to fulfill the product. He didn't have to do customer support. What he had to do was make the experience better and give them a reason to use his link to sign up. So before he knew it, he was hitting uh, you know, $3,000 a month, $5,000 a month, and now over $10,000 a month in recurring affiliate commissions. And I don't know about you guys, but 10K a month recurring, like that is better than most people's salary that they'll ever get in their life. 
So it's possible. It takes a lot of work and dedication, but it's very possible. Even if you just want to create an extra couple grand a month, it's, it's incredible what happens Neat. when you build a community and serve them. It's passive. A couple grand is a couple grand will pay for your car and mortgage. I mean, you know, that's yeah. huge and it's passive because it's going to come every month and all you're doing is supporting some people inside of a group. And just You're basically having conversations yeah. and chit chatting with people and getting paid for it. In the end of the day, that's, that's yeah. what it's, that's yeah. what's happening. That's the, that's the funniest thing too, because I've talked to a lot of people that say, oh, well, I don't have time to, to, you know, run a Facebook group. And I asked them, well, how much time a day do you spend on other people's social media? Wouldn't you rather, you know, invest that into yourself and your future instead of just arguing with strangers or looking up cat pictures? Like, I, I, I don't know about uh, you guys out there listening, but I want to work with people who are investors, of not just money, but of time. And no, yes, you could spend five hours looking at cat pictures, or you could spend way less than that every week running a group that's actually going to add to your life, to your family, to your business. And it's fun too. Don't let anybody ever tell you it's a chore. It's fun when you actually build a community you care about. No, I couldn't agree more, man. That's, it's really powerful. Um, and the thing is, what I love about this is the simplicity of it. Uh, the key that I see is being active. That's it. And, and here's the best part, and I want everyone to understand this. Guess what? If you make a post that wasn't great, you missed the boat, wasn't that interesting, wasn't the best copy in the world, so what? You lose literally nada, nothing. So it's one of those environments where, you know, you're just being asked to start a group, follow Arnie's model to get that first 500 members, and then follow his model to make your group viral, because there's actually, he's helped me. There's a reason I'm getting 50 members a day. There's some tweaks we made from the name and the way we did certain things that help your group go viral, helps Facebook see your group the way they want to see it. But really after that, because Facebook will handle the growth of it. You don't have to do any paid advertising. You don't have to do any crazy things. At some point, you let Facebook bring you the free traffic and the free members. You focus on just one. You have literally one thing to do, one post a day. And then beyond that, of course, watch the group. And if people are asking questions, answer them. I mean, heck, it beats, it beats working for the man eight, nine hours, 10 hours a, a day. Imagine if you could put eight, nine, 10 hours a day into your group. What will happen? Oh, my God. Like Facebook will love you. Your group will take off and grow. And you'll be one of Arnie's top case studies. You wouldn't even need Incredible. to. Incredible. Like, you, you run out of stuff to do. Like, <laughs> yeah, like I know. It, it, take, I, it takes me like max 15 minutes to work on a group every day. And, you know, as they got bigger, we, we, you know, got some help in, in moderators that are volunteers and just, just made the community want to post on their own. And I think that was one of the coolest things was, you know, as we start out, we're the main people posting, but unlike any other social channel out there, other people get to create the content for you. So now I only post like 10% of the content in my big group. And there's like dozens of posts a day of other people dropping content, engaging, showing up, connecting. So I could take a month off and, and you know, they miss me, but the group would still keep rolling. So it's really powerful to be able to tap into that, that true community element. And that's why Facebook is leaning all into this because there's a million other social channels, platforms, you know, media channels for consumption, but there's nothing quite like a community where you actually show up to the topics you care about you engage, you hang out, and you enjoy your experience in that little tiny pocket of Facebook. So, yeah. you know, a, a group about digital marketing or a group about knitting, um, Facebook wants both of them to grow and to be engaged. And no matter who you are, there's groups for you. And Facebook just wants people to spend more time on the platform. So that's why they lean all into groups is because it's that niched, segmented little pockets of community where anybody can find what they're looking for. And, and that's why it's so cool to be able to tap into it right now. You get to create that pocket and own it. I love it, man. I absolutely love it. Well, listen, everyone, um, you know, the rest of the goodies, you got to come to the workshop because it's really awesome. And um, I will say Arnie and the Learn team have been working really hard on it for months now. You got to come experience it. So if you're on YouTube, come on. Give us a share, give us a like, give us a click, give us a thumbs up, get, uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel. But biggest thing is the URL is there, click it, go to it, and make sure you register for the workshop. If you're listening on any audio device, 
Find your way to onicpodcast.com in the show notes or the description and show notes of the audio device you're listening on. You'll see a link to the workshop. You'll absolutely love it. Um, Arnie, man, I'm excited. I'm excited about bringing Facebook groups and your message to Learn Nation because there's no better time. It's now and it's going to bring so many people the ability to start earning an income and it's going to kill so many excuses. That's probably my favorite part yeah. is like I, I know right now if I have a student comes to me and is like, I've been trying so hard for years to make money. I'll be like, really? Because if yes, have you done this? Like this is a sure yeah. This is like literally 100% proof. And I love how it builds right into what I teach, which I love and I always will, which is email marketing. It's just like hands in hand. So other than that, Arnie, um, where can people find you? Where can people follow you socially, stalk you? Is there a blog, a podcast, a website, a Facebook group? Where can people go? Yeah, so best place to go. If you guys want to check out the big group, kind of see how we run it, see what the vibe is over there. Um, that's over at Millennial Entrepreneur Community. So you can type that up come and hang join us we'd love to love to see you guys um and also check out the community and conversion show on itunes and you guys will learn some of these principles around community building conversion rate optimization really really creating a community and impact that you want while building the business that you want too so be excited to see you over there how you tune in and uh yeah really excited to see you guys on this workshop too we're gonna get into a lot more nuts and bolts and uh Help you guys build some groups. It's awesome. All right. Listen, Learn Nation and everyone listening in the fighting entrepreneur community, you have no excuses anymore. This is coming and this is right in front of you. And it is, I don't want to say it's easy money, but it's simple money. All right. And nothing in life worth doing is easy, but it's simple. It's a repeatable process. You can learn it. The question is, are you serious? Do you want it? That choice is yours. The workshop URL is on the screen or it's in the show notes. Go grab it, get in there. And other than that, Make sure you're a member of Learn, L-U-R-N.com. Make sure you're binge watching all of our episodes, onicpodcast.com. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Click like, click share if you're on YouTube. Make sure you leave us a comment. Check Arnie's Facebook group out. Check Arnie's podcast out. Lots for you to do here if you're learning and you're ready. But more than anything, we will see you on that workshop. This is Onyx and I reminding you when life pushes you, stand straight, smile, and push it the heck back, fighting entrepreneurs. Until next time, this is Onyx and all signing off. Thanks for listening to The Fighting Entrepreneur with your host, Onyx Singhal.